James Bond Girls Then and Now. In this video, we're going to talk about famous Bond girls then and now. James Bond may do the stunts, but it is undeniable that Bond girls call the shots. Bond girls are characters who are either love interests or female companions of James Bond in a novel, movie, or video game. Right from Honey Rider and Dr. No, it is no doubt that Bond girls have made crucial contributions towards the James Bond brand to date. After over 50 years and 24 action-produced movies, with a 25th one scheduled for release on April 2nd, 2021, the Bond girls have steadily built a reputation for playing any of these three roles, ally, enemies, or wild cards to Agent 007. It only seems fair to celebrate these iconic women who have helped build a legacy. Let's see where some of them are now, since their roles in James Bond movies. Before we get into these Bond girls, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Ursula Andress, Honey Rider. Popularly known as the first Bond girl, Honey Rider, Ursula Andress, now age 83, starred in the comedy movie The Bird Preachers in 2005 and most recently. She co-starred with Elvis Presley in 1963's Fun in Acapulco, with Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin in Four for Texas, and with Laurence Olivier and Harry Hamlin, the father of her son Dimitri, in 1981's Clash of the Titans. Since the mid-1980s, she transitioned to small television movies after welcoming Dimitri. Eunice Gason, Sylvia Trench. May I um, let you know in the morning? Splendid. Following her role as Bond's girlfriend, Sylvia Trench in Dr. No and From Russia with Love, 1962-1963, Gason went on to play a major role in the Hammer horror film The Revenge of Frankenstein. In the early 1990s, Gason appeared in Stephen Sondheim's Into the Woods in the role of the grandmother. She released an autobiography in 2012 titled The First Lady of Bond. Her daughter Kate appeared as an extra in 1995's GoldenEye. She died in 2018 at the age of 90. Daniela Bianchi, Tatiana Romanova. But I grew an inch over the regulation height, and so. After she played Soviet Army Intelligence Corporal Tatiana Romanova in From Russia with Love, 1963, she went on to play in several French and Italian movies, the last being Scacco Internationale in 1968. Her only role in an American production was in the Dr. Kildare three-part story, Rome Will Never Leave You. In 1970, Bianchi retired from acting to marry a Genoan shipping magnate, Alberto Camelli, with whom she has one son. Now age 77, she appeared in a 2012 documentary called We're Nothing Like James Bond. Honor Blackman, Pussy Galore. Tranquilize again. No catcher. See. This English actress and singer quit her role on The Avengers to appear as Pussy Galore, a role which has been ranked the second favorite of the James Bond girls. She was still starring in films until 2015. Her last titles include 2012's Cockneys vs. Zombies and the sitcom You, Me, and Them. Blackman has also voiced Queen Anahita on the Doctor Who audio story. In 2009, Blackman released a new single, the star who fell from grace. Blackman was married twice. She died at her home in Lewis, East Sussex on the 5th of April, 2020, aged 94 from natural causes. Margaret Nolan, Dink. Felix, say hello to Dink. Hi, Dink. Dink, say goodbye to Felix. Uh, man talk. Since her small role as Bond's masseuse, Dink, in Goldfinger, 1964, she went on to act in movies like Carry On Girls and Positions of Power. Nolan didn't star in films since her role in Sky Bandits, 1986, but appeared in 2011's The Power of Three. Nolan lived in Hampstead, London, where she worked as an artist making photo montages using old publicity photographs. Nolan died of cancer on the 5th of October, 2020, at age 76. Her last movie appearance will be in the upcoming psychological horror film, Last Night in Soho, which is scheduled for release in April 2021. Shirley Eaton, Jill Masterson. This 82-year-old English actor became a sex symbol in the 60s after playing the role of Jill Masterson in Goldfinger, 1964. Eaton appeared regularly in British films throughout the 1950s and 1960s. She retired from acting in 1969 to raise her family. Eaton published an autobiography, Golden Girl, in 1999, and released a poetry book in 2006 called Shirley Eaton's Golden Touch. Tanya Mele, Tilly Masterson. But there are some English customs. 
that are going to be changed. Tanya Millay was originally tested for Bianchi's role in From Russia With Love before getting the role of Tilly. Goldfinger was Millay's only major film role. Her only other acting role was an uncredited role on The New Avengers in 1976 before returning to modeling. Millay died in April 2019 at the age of 77. Claudine Auger, Dominique Domino Deval. Her role as Dominique Domino Deval launched this French actress into a successful European movie career. Before Bond, she was the first runner-up in the 1958 Miss World contest. Auger was still acting in mostly foreign films up until 1997. Auger's last credited appearance is on the French TV movie The Red and the Black. Auger died at age 78 in Paris in December 2019 after a lengthy illness. Luciana Peluzzi, Fiona Volpe. How far do you go? You better fasten your safety belt. Although she initially auditioned for the role of Domino in Thunderball, 1965, Luciana Peluzzi played Spectre agent Fiona Volpe. This Rome native has since gone on to appear in several film roles within the 1960s to 1970s. Her last film role was in the movie Deadly Chase in 1978. She is 82 years old and is married to Michael Solomon, former president of Warner Bros. International Television. Martine Beswick, Paula Kaplan. British actress Martine Beswick is best known for her roles as Bond's assistant, Paula Kaplan, and as the gypsy Zora in From Russia With Love, 1963, and Thunderball, 1965, respectively. At age 78, Beswick was in films and television through the 90s, including One Million Years BC, Six Million Dollar Man, and Falcon Crest. Beswick appeared on BBC's MasterChef in 2013, with 11 other Bond girl guests. After a 24-year absence from the screen, Beswick came out of retirement in 2018 to appear in House of the Gorgon, opposite fellow Hammer film actors Carolyn Monroe, Veronica Carlson, and Christopher Neem. Karen Dorr, Helga Brandt. I've got you now. Well, enjoy yourself. After her role as Spectre assassin Helga Brandt in You Only Live Twice, 1967, she went on to feature in the Alfred Hitchcock movie Topaz, 1969. She made a comeback to German screens in 2006's I Am The Other Woman. Dorr died at a nursing home in Munich on the 6th of November, 2017, age 79. Her role as Rosa in The Misplaced World, 2015, was her final film role. Diana Rigg, Teresa Tracy Bond. Before her role as Bond's wife, Tracy Contessa Teresa De Vicenzo, on Her Majesty's Secret Service, 1969, Rigg appeared as Emma Peel on the popular TV show The Avengers. The film credits for this Emmy Award winner include Olena Tyrell in Game of Thrones, 2013 to 2017, include You, Me, and the Apocalypse, 2015, Detectorists, 2015, the Doctor Who episode The Crimson Horror, 2013, with her daughter, Rachel Sterling, and her final role was as Mrs. Pumphrey in All Creatures Great and Small, 2020. Diana Rigg died of cancer at her London home on the 10th of September, 2020, aged 82. Jill St. John, Tiffany Case. Sorry about your fulsome friend. I bet you really miss something. Jill St. John was the first American Bond girl. She played diamond smuggler Tiffany Case in Diamonds Are Forever, 1971. St. John was originally offered the role of Plenty O'Toole, which went to Lana Wood. After three marriages, St. John went on to work in five films with her present husband, Robert Wagner, before retiring in 2002. In 2014, she made a comeback by playing Mrs. Claus in a made-for-TV movie, North Pole, with Wagner, who played Santa Claus. Lana Wood, Plenty O'Toole. You're a nice person, Maxie. Really, you are. Why don't you go and take a nap, and I'll see you next year. Following her cameo in Diamonds Are Forever, 1971, Wood has more than 20 other films and over 300 television series to her credit, including The Fugitive, Bonanza, Mission Impossible, Police Story, Starsky and Hutch, Nero Wolf, Fantasy Island, and Capital. After appearing in the horror film Satan's Mistress, 1982, she retired from acting, but resurfaced in several films since 2008. Now age 74, Wood wrote a memoir, Natalie, a memoir by her sister, 1984. Gloria Hendry, Rosie Carver. Bond, I presume? I'm Rosie Carver. 
Gloria Hendry played CIA double agent Rosie Carver in Live and Let Die, 1973. Hendry was the first African-American Bond girl to have a relationship with Bond. She also starred in the films Black Caesar and Hell Up in Harlem. Hendry has appeared in TV movies and series, most recently appearing on A Brother's Honor, Jane Seymour, Solitaire. This British-American actress is best known for her role as tarot expert Solitaire in Live and Let Die, 1973. Subsequently, she appeared in movies like Somewhere in Time, 1980, East of Eden, 1981, The Scarlet Pimpernel, 1982 film, Onassis, The Richest Man in the World, 1988, War and Remembrance, 1988, Wedding Crashers, 2005, and more notably the American television series Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman from 1993 to 1998. This Golden Globe and Emmy Award winner keeps busy both as an ambassador for a nonprofit child help and in TV and film roles. In 2017, she appeared on Hulu's documentary, Becoming Bond. Britt Eklund, Mary Goodnight. Ever since her role as Bond's assistant, Mary Goodnight, in The Man with the Golden Gun, 1974, Britt has appeared in several TV series and movies. She is notably one of the most photographed celebrities in the world during the 1970s. She played the fairy godmother in Cinderella from 2009 to 2010 at Princess Theatre in the UK. Eklund also appeared on the UK's Last Dance in 2018. In 2020, this Swedish actress and singer appeared in season 4 of BBC TV's The Real Marigold Hotel. Barbara Bach, Anya Amasova. Barbara Bach played Soviet KGB agent Triple X in The Spy Who Loved Me, 1977. At age 72, Bach has had 28 films to her credit and is married to Beatle drummer Ringo Starr. Having struggled with heavy drug abuse and alcoholism, together she and Starr created the Lotus Foundation, which funds and promotes charities that help those with substance abuse, cancer, homelessness, and more. Caroline Monroe, Naomi. Known for her roles in horror and sci-fi films, Caroline Monroe turned down the opportunity to play villainess Ursa in Superman in favor of Naomi, the first woman Bond explicitly killed in a film in The Spy Who Loved Me, 1977. Other roles include Night Owl, 1993, as Miss Pinion in To Die For, 1994, as the counselor in Domestic Strangers, 1996, and as Carla the Gypsy in Flesh for the Beast, 2003. At age 70, Monroe's recent movies include House of the Gorgon and 2020's The Fourth Horseman. Lois Chiles, Holly Goodhead. Lois Chiles played CIA agent Holly Goodhead in Moonraker, 1979. Later, she made cameo appearances in several movies, such as a hit and run driver in 1987's Creep Show 2, as well as such films as The Great Gatsby, The Way We Were, Death on the Nile, and Broadcast News. She appeared on Speed 2 and in an episode of CSI. She is 73 years old. Carole Bouquet, Melina Havelock. Although Bouquet previously auditioned for the role of Holly Goodhead in Moonraker, she ended up playing Melina Havelock, the daughter of murdered marine archaeologists in For Your Eyes Only, 1981. She is recognized for her work in the internationally successful film Too Beautiful for You, 1989, for which she won the César Award for Best Actress. Bouquet modeled for Chanel through the 90s. Bouquet still acts in French films. She appeared on NBC's 2014 Rosemary's Baby miniseries and the French TV show Spin. Lynn Holly Johnson, BB Doll. Lynn Holly Johnson is an American retired figure skater and actress. After achieving some success as a figure skater in the mid 1970s, she began an acting career, including a Golden Globe nominated role in 1978's Ice Castles and her role as BB Doll in For Your Eyes Only, 1981. In 1996, Johnson quit acting to concentrate on her family. Her last acting role at that time was a made-for-television film Fugitive X, Innocent Target. She returned to acting in a community theater production of It's a Wonderful Life. Christina Wayborn, Magda. Swedish actress Christina Wayborn played Octopussy's henchwoman Magda in Octopussy, 1983. Bond lets Magda steal a Fabergé egg with tracking devices in the film. Wayborn went on to appear on television series including The Love Boat, Dallas, and Baywatch. She reunited with other Bond girls Maude Adams, Barbara Carrera, and Tanya Roberts on That 70s Show. Her last movie appearance was The Prometheus Project, 2010, as Elizabeth's mother. Maude Adams, Octopussy. Maude Adams returned to the Bond franchise as the eponymous character in Octopussy, 1983, after she previously played Andrea Anders nearly a decade earlier in The Man with the Golden Gun, 
Now age 75, Adams doesn't act much anymore, but she frequents Bond events. She has made television appearance on Walker, Texas Ranger and That 70s Show. Grace Jones, May Day. Jamaican singer and model Grace Jones played villain Max Zorin's bodyguard and lover, May Day, in A View to a Kill, 1985. The singer continues to perform, and Grace Jones headlined the main stage at On Blackheath in London, England, on July 14, 2019. Grace Jones is a model, singer, songwriter, and actress. She appeared alongside Tim Curry in the 2001 film Wolf Girl. For her work in Conan the Destroyer, A View to a Kill, and Vamp, she was nominated for Saturn Awards for Best Supporting Actress. In 2016, Billboard magazine ranked her as the 40th greatest dance club artist of all time. Tanya Roberts, Stacy Sutton. Former Charlie's Angel Tanya Roberts played geologist Stacy Sutton in A View to a Kill, 1985. Roberts starred in a few films before landing the role of Midge Pinciotti on That 70s Show. Roberts left the show in 2001 when her husband became terminally ill. She has done some interviews in more recent years, but mostly stays out of the spotlight. She wrote the foreword to the book The Q Guide to Charlie's Angels, 2008. Miriam Dabo, Kara Milovi. She originally auditioned for the part of Pola Ivanova in A View to Kill, but played the role of Kara Milovi in The Living Daylights, 1987. In 2002, this former model co-wrote Bond Girls Are Forever and produced a documentary of the same name with other Bond girls. The actress recovered from an aneurysm in 2007 and worked on and starred in a documentary, Rupture, Living with a Broken Brain, about her injury and recovery with her husband, director Hugh Hudson. In 2015, Dabo modeled for retailer J.D. Williams and played the role of Elena in 2016's Altamira. Carrie Lowell, Pam Bouvier. Carrie Lowell played pilot and ex-CIA agent Pam Bouvier in License to Kill, 1989. Lowell later starred on Law & Order. Lowell retired from acting in the late 2000s. In 2012, Lowell lent her likeness and voice while reprising her License to Kill role in the video game 007 Legends. In 2018, she returned to TV, appearing as a guest on the show Blue Bloods and Bull. Famke Janssen, Xenia Onatop. Famke Janssen played murderer Xenia Onatop. Onatop was a member of a crime syndicate who attempts to seduce and kill Bond in Goldeneye, 1995. Janssen played Jean Grey from 2000 to 2014 in the X-Men franchise. She then starred on one of Netflix's first original shows, Hemlock Grove. She has also appeared on How to Get Away with Murder, the Taken film franchise, 2008-2014, and the 2017 NBC crime thriller, The Blacklist Redemption. Michelle Yeoh, Wai Lin. Michelle Yeoh starred as Colonel Wai Lin, the Chinese spy who worked alongside Bond in Tomorrow Never Dies, 1997. This former Miss Malaysia starred in Oscar-winning movies Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and Memoirs of a Geisha. Her other works include Reign of Assassins, 2010, Star Trek Discovery, 2017, and The Lady, 2011. Yo also lends her voice to video games. She most recently appeared in 2018's Crazy Rich Asians and 2019's Last Christmas with Amelia Clark and Henry Golding. Terry Hatcher, Paris Carver. Bond attempts to seduce his old girlfriend in Tomorrow Never Dies. Instead, Paris winds up dead. Subsequently, Hatcher plays the lead role of Susan Meyer on ABC's hit drama Desperate Housewives from 2004 until 2012. For her portrayal of Susan Meyer, she won a Golden Globe Award, three Screen Actors Guild Awards, and a Primetime Emmy nomination. Recently, Hatcher has appeared on The CW's Supergirl in a recurring role, and 2019's All Round to Mrs. Brown's. So there you have it, the Bond girls then and now. Let us know which of these actors was your favorite in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.